Hello everyone, Tennessee Tactical back at it again with another video today. So today's video, we've got basically a review of our AR-10 build kit from uh, SDI, and this is in the DPMS Panther Arms AR-10, chambered in 308. Now I want to make a huge disclaimer before we really get into this video. So as you know, if you've been following my channel, if you've been watching my channel, subscribe, you know that I like to make unboxing videos um, of the things that SDI sends us. The Sonora Desert Institute is a gunsmithing college for uh, new viewers and people who don't know. Uh, but they send us these projects and kits and parts and stuff that we have to use for school. And so I was making a huge unboxing for this capstone project, which is the end, uh, the, the do all end all, the, the big uh finale at the end of our degree building an actual uh firearm now i did not receive all of my parts uh so uh, the handguard the barrel nut and the handguard hardware like the uh, screws and stuff uh, and the shims for the barrel nut that was not sent i had to call the school and get that sent over and i was going to wait and do the unboxing uh well it wouldn't be an unboxing because i've literally unboxed it it's all sitting here on my workbench but I would basically make another review video and, and show all the parts and basically show you what it looks like before it's built and then show you some more videos as the build progresses and then eventually leading up to the complete assembly and uh, first shots review. However, um, I looked at the timeline of the assignments and I can't really do that because if I, I think it's going to be another two weeks before they send uh, or before I receive my handguard for this uh, build here. And uh, by that time, we're already going to be working on assembling the lower receiver. And I want to make this video and basically just let you all know that I do not have the full build kit here. So the handguard is missing. Now, I, I'm actually working on uh, another AR that I've got in the house. Uh, this is chambered in 5.56. I'm just going to go right over here. So, uh, yes, my schoolwork in the background. So this is uh, one of the handguard, basically a handguard. Uh, for an AR-15. This is basically kind of what it's going to look like. So for you uh, that don't know, for you people that don't know what a handguard looks like and also just kind of want to know what one looks like, uh, this is kind of what it's going to be, um, albeit probably a little bit more beefier and longer because this is an 18-inch barrel uh, chambered in 308. So this is just an AR-15 one that I've been working on, but nevertheless, uh, this is another handguard, but that is what it's going to look like whenever you uh, receive one if, if you're doing this school and if you're doing this project, and that's what mine's going to look like as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what we do have for this uh, build kit. So the first thing right off the bat, I've got my lower receiver. Uh, this is a stripped lower receiver for an Air 10. Had to pick this up from the FFL or my chosen FFL because uh, this is considered the actual firearm. So, uh, yeah, and by the way, YouTube, we are absolutely being safe, and it's definitely clear because, well, this firearm is not even assembled yet, so, yeah. <laughs> so, this is the uh, stripped low receiver for the 308. Got the bolt carrier group from DP, and all this is DP Mass Panther Arms, by the way. I wish I could have got the air precision, but it is what it is. Uh, so, there is the bolt carrier, just a standard bolt carrier, but a little beefier. Um, just for uh, size, I've got one here for 5.56 five, that I've been, I've got an extra one here. So this is a standard 5.56 five, bolt carrier, and this is your 308, so it's definitely a lot beefier. Um, by no stretch of the imagination. You got your castle nut here. Uh, got a mil spec stock. I'm going to be changing that out, putting something like a mag pull on it. Got your buffer tube and that little piece always forget what the thing's called uh, a2 flash hider here center bird cage got your charging handle buffer spring and buffer which will go in the buffer tube got your stripped upper receiver again this is chambered in 308 so this is made for 308 the dpms panther arms uh proprietary a2 uh, grip uh, it's not technically an A2 because it doesn't have the little finger groove here, but I'm going to be changing that out, throwing a mag pull on it. Then you've got a 10-round PMAG. This is the uh, Gen 3 PMAG. Now, all this stuff was boxed up in boxes that they sent. Like I said, I made an unboxing video and then realized that they didn't send everything. I didn't want to upload that video at first because it wasn't complete. But then, like I said, I checked the assignment. Uh, you know, the 
the weekly assignments for the build and saw that well by the time i received that handguard i would have already built the lower so i want to show you guys what it looks like uh, disassembled first um and then we've got our 18 inch 1 to 10 twist ar 10 308 barrel uh, that's a really nice barrel really heavy cool um, then we've got all of our internal parts so we've got like your trigger parts uh, your safety selector gas uh, port let's say with gas uh, gas block your um, failure button forward assist uh, ejection port cover uh, you got all the internals i'm not going to go through every one i mean but it's basically all the internal all your detent springs your detents your pivot pins all that good stuff to build an ar-10 and then the school sent us uh, quite a few tools to actually oh and before i forget we've also got a gas tube we have to have that or it doesn't work so we've got our rifle length gas tube there's that and then the school sent us a few tools and stuff to actually build the thing um, this isn't really a tool but it's cool to have uh like for testing gunsmithing stuff like that uh troubleshooting diagnostic uh this is um snap caps for 308 so that's pretty cool uh, you've got an AR-10 pivot and roll pin installation tool from Wheeler Engineering. Really like Wheeler. Good stuff. Uh, we've got a go, no-go gauge. This is basically your headspace gauges. Uh, this is chambered again since mine's chambered in 308. This is chambered in 308. Uh, you put this down inside the chamber, I'm pretty sure, and you check the head spacing. Make sure that your chamber is correct for the correct caliber that you're... I'm pretty sure that's how it is anyway. I uh, learned that from Brandon Herrera. Shout out to you, AK guy. Uh, this is an AR-10. I'm pretty sure this is proprietary to the AR-10 uh, armor's wrench. I've got an AR-15 armor's wrench. Um, so any, I've never had an AR-10 before. So anybody that has an AR-10 that's built one, let me know if this is only proprietary to AR-10s or can you use this on AR-15s. Um, I would assume you could use the, like, the Castle Nut wrench stuff like that because that's proprietary but like the barrel i don't know if that's i don't know if that's different let me know uh if that's not the case then i could use this on any ar that i have so that's cool um uh, got some vice block stuff here i think this is like um this stuff that we're going to be putting in my vice to clamp the parts down to be able to in install the parts um i don't really like I said, I don't really, I mean, I, I don't use vice blocks. I've just got a, a nice gunsmithing uh, vice that I, ha that I have over here. So I've never really used these before. And two, I've never really built from this level of disassembly an AR-15 or an AR-10. So that'll be cool to learn how to use these. I'm sure it's not that complicated. But like I said, I've never used them. So then you've got a AR-10 bolt vice. Uh, this is basically another vice uh, for your bolt. So we got that, pretty cool. Then, let's see, we've got a few other tools that I've actually put up already, but I'll try to bring them out and show you. Uh, they sent a torque wrench. Uh, this is basically Pittsburgh. This is like your Harbor Freight quality stuff. Just a torque wrench. Pretty sure this is for whenever we install the barrel. Uh, so there's that. And then they sent us some T-handled hex key sets. Um, I've already got some but thanks for sending them anyway sdi so got some of those that's cool i've actually got the gray ones too um so there's those and then i've got so much stuff on my workbench then they sent this this is a tipton uh tipton gun cleaning rod i will not be using this i'm sorry <laughs> i don't need something this big uh to clean my ar rifles out or whatever but uh, thank you anyway uh, it's cool to have i might use it in the future but i've got the nice kit that sdi sent us to clean stuff so i'm not going to be using that but if i ever need to i have it then they sent us some roll pin punches uh stuff like that from let's see this is a seven piece roll uh roll spring punch set from grace usa hope you can see that and then uh roll pin spring pin holders so there's those and then roll pin punch set as well. So got the roll pins, got all that stuff, got all the punches. Uh, when you build ARs, you need a bunch of roll pin punches. Then they also sent this stuff. Hopefully I can get it out without dropping everything. Um, this is, let's see, 
pretty sure this yeah this is the two-piece bolt catch set so i'm pretty sure this is for putting in some kind of part for the bolt catch i would assume um and this is your firing pin protrusion gauge so there's that um and then this is let's see this is the rear sight staking punch so they didn't send sights for this rifle so i will have to uh buy a set of sights kind of sucks um I mean, I guess you could say that that's elective stuff. You know, it's not really needed. I would argue that it is because uh, these rifles, like ARs and stuff like that, they they only really truly function with uh, some kind of optic or some kind of sights or whatever. So it kind of sucks that they didn't send that. Uh, I'm not really complaining, but I mean, it's not really a full build if you don't have sights. You know, so um, but it will function without sights. Just you're not going to be able to really hit anything. Uh, then they also sent uh, some Harbor Freight uh, Taper Proof Star Key Set. So there's that. Now, I think that's actually about it. Uh, I was trying to look around my workbench to see if they sent anything else. They also sent these uh, punches from, um, I would assume they're from like Harbor Freight because it also said Pittsburgh. But they also sent these types of punches. I already have a set of these, uh, but it's cool that they sent them anyway. It's also nice to have like multiple sets, so if you ever break something or lose something, you can just grab the other set. They also sent this. I would assume this is for, uh, well, I really don't know what this is for. I guess marking on something to do something with. I don't know. We'll learn about that, but they sent us this white pencil anyway, so that's a plastic. Wait a minute. It actually says what it is. It's a paper, glass, plastic, metal pencil. Okay. That's weird. So there's that, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Obviously, like I said, the handguard is not uh, the barrel nut, the handguard, and the shims, and the handguard hardware. That's not going to be in this uh, video because I don't have it. But like I said, I did call the school. So if you're missing anything, if you're doing this uh, project uh, and you're missing something, call the school immediately. Call the shipping department and get that stuff sent in as soon as possible. Uh, don't be like me and wait around for a few days just to see if it's supposed to come in a different uh, box. So, well, that is it. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry I didn't get to the unboxing like I wanted to. I had a whole 30-minute video unboxing every single thing they sent me. It was still in the actual original boxes and everything. Kind of took away from the experience. But, I mean, like I said, um, I didn't really know what was going on with this uh, shipment here. Apparently, there's a lot of students that had missed... Uh, some parts in this build kit so again it kind of sucks that I got a DPMS build too instead of an arrow but I mean I, I've read about DPMS and they're not that bad either so can't complain it's a free AR can't complain so thank you guys for watching if you are new to this channel and you want to stay uh, up to date on every video that I upload be sure to slap that subscribe button with notifications turned on if you've enjoyed the video and you're already subscribed or if you haven't subscribed please make sure to slap that like button it helps me in the algorithm and everything like that. Uh, gain new subscribers, get more following, and all that good stuff. If you want to comment on anything, uh, ask a question, or just let me know if you guys have built an AR, uh, just throw down your comments. Let me know uh, what you guys have experienced with building ARs. If you're in this school and you're getting ready to do this, uh, let me know how your build is going. If you're in the middle of it, let me know how it is. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.